been pretty fall-like lately, but Ooh, there's a nice breeze. It's warming up a bit today. This is the back road bitter. Boogity boogity. Where do we start? There's that killer dog. He hates me so much. Here's my haul from last week's auction. Take a little overview if you like. Splendid, splendid, that's enough. I'll show you mine, you show me yours. <laughs> um, let's begin. First I'm gonna take some of Marcy's crap out of here. And then I'll start. Fair enough, cool. As I mentioned in the last video, Sometimes you go to an auction, you just have to be flexible. So you could fill up your whole car and not get a single thing that you thought you were going to. And this auction was kind of one of those auctions. There's very few things that I showed you in the last video that I actually picked up. Here's my actual receipt. Total spent was $45.50. And as usual, it's sometimes kind of hard to say what I paid for each individual item because they got weird lots but the most expensive lot I had was one box of salt and pepper shakers I spent ten dollars for forty five dollars and fifty cents was the total for everything Marcy and I got remember when I said I'm avoiding VHS well I didn't intentionally get this I didn't hate this movie. I thought that was kind of good. Buried Alive. That's spooky looking. There's quite a few of these VHS cases in here. Maybe those will sell as a lot. Moving on. The guy who passed away did a lot of woodworking. And he made this little steam tractor and I think it's pretty cool. I bought this block of knives sight unseen because I could see that they were, they just look like quality. How about that? And what is that? Chicago cutlery? I can't read it. RS, I don't know what that says. I'm hoping there's some individual knives in here I can sell. Here, that's bigger. Stainless. RS. Is that Regent Steel? Oh dear, no. Sell them individually for a few bucks a piece and then sell the block. Lovely, lovely. I don't know, I got a lot of little things like this. It's made in Japan, it's kind of pretty. I don't know if any of these things are worth anything. Bradley exclusive made in Japan. Just a weird decorative plate to hang in your kitchen or something. I don't know if any of them are worth anything. W.S. George. Maybe some of you know a little bit more about glass than I do. In Japan. I had this crazy idea. You come across umbrellas all the time at auctions. They come in boxes of stuff. I thought, why not just keep them in my car? Driving around someday, just keep it in mind that they're there. And then, you know, you see someone who get caught out in the rain, pull over and hand them an umbrella. 
I think it'd be kind of fun just to see the look on their face and I'm sure they'd be really appreciative. Made in Japan. Got a number. These might be worth nothing. I'm really sad that this one's broke. Rewinder, if that works, that's 20 bucks easy. If you watched my last video, you saw saw me tell a guy that I just sold one of these. I literally did. Like the morning before that auction, I sold this very tape player for 25 bucks. A little lightning strike twice. It looks clean. We'll have to find out. More salt and pepper shakers. Some of these are really neat. These are heavy. I don't know what that's made out of. Brass, maybe. Most of these are similar, but I'm so full of S. I'm so full of pee. Ah, cute salt and pepper. Some of these are real common, but I think some of these I could get a few bucks each. There. Look at this one, it's so elegant. <laughs> Pretty neat. Very unusual cassette player. I've never seen one with a, a joystick controller on it. Fast forward, rewind, play. And then a button to record. It feels heavy. I hope there's not batteries in here. There you go. Nope, no batteries. This one looks really old on the VCR. Old Magnavox. I'll have to test this. It's heavy too. <laughs> it's like got metal, metal buttons and stuff. You never see that. Now this one they said it's new in the box. I think they say it's new in the box just if it's in the box. What's in here is <laughs> what's the box? The box says it's a DVD recorder with a forehead hi fi stereo VCR. But what's in here is just a VCR. That's very right, cool. I'll test it. I got it cheap. I'll test it and see if it's working on anything. I hate when they do that. I hate when they do that. Unfortunately, a lot of auctioneers, anything that's a plastic container with a lid, that's Tupperware. Anything that's in a box, it's new in the box. Well, this doesn't even have the right product in the box. Oh well. Just a little tote I got because... Oh, frick. I thought this was a... Some kind of a web camera but I don't know what it is it says channel up and channel down it must be some kind of a TV receiver thing hmm, I have a feeling that might be garbage this is something every reseller can use if it works a little magnifier with a light actually this could be very valuable for us, just for us to use. Some old eyeglasses. Sometimes old frames are worth something. There's actually no lenses in this. These are messed up. This says Chesterfield. How do I look? It's not my prescription. But if I look good... Who cares, right? 
these seem pretty banged up too. Some bifocals. I'll have to look for names on these because sometimes frames can sell if they're in good shape. on sunglasses. I think these are cheap. They feel cheap. Here's something I actually videoed last week, or was in last week's video, and I did get it. A little Dominion old-fashioned fan finger slicer <laughs> uh, if this works that might be a good one I've sold quite a few of these old metal fans people dig them that came with this old tripod it's actually metal they're all plastic now but that's usually a standard size so it'll probably still work for modern cameras and another one of these this cord, this is actually a good find right here. These cords will sell by themselves. Uh, this will work. <laughs> These fit in old appliances like irons and blenders and toasters. Uh, they used to be pretty standard size. And this one seems to be in good shape. Toe straps come in handy. Keep those in the truck. I got some reels. This is a fly fishing one. This ginormous one, Kmart brand. Ooh, that's got to be worth a ton. Look how big that is, though. I don't know a lot about reels, but I'm going to look these up and see what I can find out. Brand new mud flaps for trucks. Wisconsin, the Badger Steel. Look how funny he looks. Hi, guys. I'm a special little badger. Looks like they tried to sell them at one time for 10 bucks. I'm going to see if I can get more. So I got this for a dollar. It's a 4000 BTU um, propane flameless heater. It looks fairly new. I mean, the box is rough, but I don't think this was used a lot. dusty though. I might have to get a tank and test this out. If it doesn't sell for much, maybe I can use it. I live in Wisconsin. We always need more heaters. Northwest Territory sleeping bag. Hope, Gosser. I believe this is the salt and pepper shakers I paid ten dollars for for this flat. We had a couple old sailors, old salty and Captain Pepper. A couple cool fish. That's a Nesco. This guy's by himself. He's made in Japan. salt and pepper shakers what are these pigeons turkeys I don't know these feel very delicate made in Taiwan some geese squirrels with big nuts and a couple walruses just cool I'll be right back after these messages. But how much is it worth?
This guy's an oxen ninja. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, and uh, hope to see you next time. If you want to help me list, come on over. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye. I don't catch my death on video, do That's no way to treat a cassette. Anyway. Gallagher. Somebody recorded Gallagher. I hope that's not worth it. I'm crying. These are for old appliances. Um, shit. This is one of those items I bought just because it was cheap. And it's noon. Bye.